Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a reading progress bar in WordPress. So let's dive in. All right, so over here on my WordPress website, you can see that I just have a basic blog. If we go to this article right here, you're going to see if I scroll, nothing comes up at the top. There's no progress bar right now. And this is a pretty long post that I made right here as this dummy text right here. And I'll be able to show you actually how long it's going to take to read the article with a read meter. And I'm also going to show you how to use the progress bar as well with a simple plugin. So let's just go back here to the dashboard. Then we'll go to plugins, add new. And the plugin that we're going to search for is actually called read meter. And there's lots of different names for this kind of thing. Some call it a read meter, some call it a reading progress bar. Some call it a scrolling indicator. Either way, this one is called Read Meter and it's by Brainstorm Force. Those are the people that brought Astra and the Astra theme. So we're just going to activate the plugin after we install it here. And now we're going to have an option within the settings. So if we go over to settings, Read Meter, we're then going to be brought to the general settings. So within the general settings, we are going to be able to select if we want posts or pages and also things like how many words per minute people are going to read that's going to affect what it shows for the reading time that it's going to take for someone to read the article so with the words per minute i actually did a quick google search and i saw that the average person reads between 200 and 250 words per minute just my opinion i would think that you'd want to put this on the higher end so let's say if you put it at 300 words per minute it's going to make it look like the article is potentially 33 percent shorter of a time to read because a lot of people don't want to waste time reading a very long article that they think is going to take a long time. So you could be a little bit, I guess you could say deceptive and put it at a higher number. I'm going to put it at 250, which is the higher end of the range when I Googled what the actual words per minute average is. So here you can include comments and images that would also make this take longer. So I'm going to leave that unchecked and I'll just save those changes here. So from here we can go over to where it says read time and within this option we can choose where it actually displays how long it's going to take someone to read the article. So I'm going to leave it as single post here. I'm going to put it as above the content. You can put it above the post title. I think that above the content makes a little more sense because it doesn't divert people from the title of the article. I really want them to see what the article is about first before they see how long it will take to read. Here you can change reading time if you want and the way it's measured, I'm going to leave it as minutes. Here for the font size, again, I'm going to leave it as 20 here. For the bottom, I'm going to show you what that looks like, but I'm going to end up changing this and I'll show you in a second. Now for the color, you want it to be able to stand out. So if we just click save right here and we were to refresh this post right here, you can see that now it says reading time, nine minutes right here with this gray background with this purple text on it. So we can easily change that. So let's just go and change that. I'm going to make it a blue background so it stands out a little bit more. And I'll just make it a white text color. And from here is what I wanted to show you. So it's right up on our text right here. I want to give it a little bit of a margin at the bottom. And I'm going to make it 25 just for this example. And let's just save it and see what it looks like. So if we refresh, we can see that now there's this margin. And I think it stands out a little bit more with this blue around it and the white text than it did before. So at the top here, we can see our reading progress bar and what it looks like. And we can go into adjusting that as well. But if you see, you can start to scroll and it starts to fill in there. So when we go back over here, but let's go over to the reading progress bar after you save these settings. And in the progress bar section, you can see the background color is this light one right here. And it's at the top of the page. I'm going to leave it as top of the page styles normal. I'm going to make the bar thickness a little bit thicker. Let's just make it 20 for this example. And I'm going to make this more of a lighter blue color for the background. And I'll just make the primary color blue for the actual bar that's going to be filling up. So I'm going to click save here. It says setting saved. If we refresh, now we can see the bars a little thicker at the top, but it's nice and light color. And as we start going through the article, it starts to fill up. So if we were to go back up, it goes away. It's a very nice feature to have on your blog. Now, if you don't want to actually have it that thick, it's totally fine to change this to make it a little smaller. Maybe something like 15 would be a little less distracting, but you get the idea. I really just wanted to show you the basics of how to set up a reading progress bar 
or the read meter or the scrolling indicator, whatever you want to call it. Either way, I hope that this reading progress bar video was helpful and it helped you set one up in a matter of minutes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more WordPress related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.